Hello, today I want to talk about maps and mapping. Uh, I've just recorded some of this video and sadly it doesn't seem to have actually stored it on the camera so we're going to go for another go. Slightly different but I've got a selection of maps here that in front of me, run you through them, maps that I like having. So your standard OS map and this is the, the Land, Rover, Land, Land Ranger one of Ben Nevis, Fort William and Glencoe. And uh, I find these are very handy maps to have when you're not sure of where you're going to be going. You don't quite know where you're going to stay or what route you're going to take. So, Ben Nevis down here. Um, not the most useful, you see, Ben Nevis, it'll give you the path, the, the sort of the pony trap up, track up, and it'll give you the route round to the north face. But when we were on Ben Nevis and we were trying to go up Tower Ridge, this map is of next to no use. As I say, it's more of a wide area map for uh, a weekend in Glencoe and Fort William, and you sort of want to find out where places are and find possible routes to walk. But it's not really one for navigating in bad weather or desperate navigation. Um, you go for the OS Explorer map for that. Now I don't have one of Ben Nevis and Fort William on me. Uh, I think I left it at a friend's house once. So, but this is the this is the one to fifty k uh, scale, uh, and the Explorer is the one to twenty five k, which would be a lot better for um, navigating your way around mountain routes and things. However, I've got several alternatives here. So I've got the Harvey Superwalker, it comes in a nice plastic case, but the Harvey Superwalker XT25 of Glencoe. Uh, it says it's a tough light waterproof map, and it is a sort of a, a plasticky type uh, material, but I wouldn't want to take it out in the rain or anything, it's just again in showers and things, it's not going to be too bad. It called, it's called an all-weather map, I wouldn't say I wouldn't trust it so much. Let's do this upside down. Sorry guys, move the camera around. Uh, they have a different appearance to... OS maps, these are uh, Harvey Super Walker maps, but they're still very good. Again, there's a lot of detail on your contour lines, your altitudes, paths, summits, peaks. Uh, symbols are fairly good. The, these also give you a colour coding here for uh, whether they're a Munro, a Corbett, or a Graham in Scotland, which is quite funny. So you can actually see if you're going for the Munros and things, you can go for them, or you're going for a Corbett. And uh, I haven't got any of these in the Lake District or Wales or anything, but I'm sure that you'd be able to find yourself Wainwrights and things labelled on the, the other ones, but these are quite good for doing that. And uh, I find this sort of map very, very handy in the Highlands. I like the layout of it, and it, it's really good for navigating your way around when you're walking. But the fact that they're sort of slightly durable and waterproof is good. Um, keeps me happy. Get that one out of the way. Uh, Another very, very handy, and it's one of my favourites actually for when I'm out in the mountains, is a Harvey map again, but it's their summit maps. So this is the Ben Nevis summit, tough polyurethane again, it says. Strong, durable, and waterproof. Well, again, I wouldn't take it out in a pouring rain. I'd have a map cover for it anyway, a map case, but it literally is a little tiny map of the summit of Ben Nevis, and it really get you out of trouble, something like this. So uh, if you're familiar with the summit of Ben Nevis in bad weather, Five Finger Gully here is a particularly bad place for mountain rescues. Um, there's a lot of people that fall down it in whiteouts and fog and things, so this gives you, from the summit and from the emergency shelter, gives you a bearing to take, two grid bearings to take from a distance, so that you can find your way sort of down the pony track, uh, track and off the mountain if you need to. Uh, this sort of map was also really handy for when we were scouting out things like um, Tower Ridge again and the northeast buttress. It's uh, when you come off at the top, if you don't really know where you come up, you can sort of see on here, ah, okay, and navigate your way around. But it's also a, a handy size to have, just literally for the summit of this. I think they do other summit maps too, but I haven't got any. And it gives you advice on your GPS with a grid reference for the summit, and it'll tell you there again how to use a grid reference on the map for your summit. That's a really handy one to have. There's nothing on the back, so it is one-sided. And, uh, and they've even got a little description there on the visibility route for bad weather and how to use your bearings and things, which I like. And bizarrely, I can't remember where it came from, I've got this little Harvey map. Tough light, waterproof again, yeah, plasticized sort of case, but this is Ben Nevis and the Grey Corries. Is it going to be... Yeah, that's it. This one's called an ultra map. Uh, again, I wouldn't really use it for navigating, so... You've, uh, it's good for an overview, and it does have some, some, uh, some detail on it, but I don't particularly want it to be up in the mountains trying to rely on this map here. So if you come down to Ben Nevis again, you've got your, your pony tra track, you've got the summit up here, your Tower Ridge, your northeast buttress, Castle Ridge down here, and the CIC hut, but it's not going to be great for 
finding your way around there. What it is handy for though, again, is if you're staying in Fort William, having a quick scout around, so you can say, oh, well, where do we sort of go, what do we want to see? Um, yeah, and I recommend if you're up this way, <laughs> recommend going to the Ben Nevis Distillery. It's quite good. It's down here behind the Lock of a Smelter. Um, it's a good old place. But anyway, that, that's by the by, sorry. So this is this is handy again for a, a decent walk. If you sort of get good visibility and you, you're just following the footpaths, so you can go up the, up the track, round to the north face, and then down towards the forest there in Fort William to the north face car park. That wouldn't be so bad, but I wouldn't use this for any tough navigation. Right, as I'm a fan of OS uh, maps, I recently renewed my subscription. Well, I actually let it lapse for quite a while because I didn't have any trips planned, but I've got a subscription to OS Maps Online, and I highly recommend that if you're into, into you still navigate by paper maps and things, which I highly recommend. I'm much more of a map and compass man. I've got myself a GPS, which I can run through in a bit there, and uh, I like that, and that's my GPS has got OS Maps on it too, but I really like having the OS Mapping Online. Um, you can buy a year subscription to it, and it's cheaper if you buy a year with a rolling direct debit year on year, but I just subscribed to the one year off. Now, I think it was about 23.99 or something for the year, but I used my Tesco's club card vouchers. It was £8 in club card vouchers to subscribe for a year, so I did that, which is what I did last time as well. It's quite handy. If you have a subscription to Country Walking Magazine or uh, Trail Magazine, you can also use your subscriber number to register for OS Maps for a year. But you do need to email your subscriber number away, they verify it, and it comes back with a code you can use. But seeing as I subscribe to both those magazines via Tesco's Club Card again, I just thought I'd get a subscription to this that way, it was a lot easier. Anyway, it works like any other sort of online mapping client, really. So you just type in where you want to go. Uh, down at Bournemouth at the moment, near me, but we'll go Port William. Oh, hello. New laptop, sorry. Uh, here we go, Fort William, we're going to cross to Ben Nevis as we're looking at their mapping. But here we go. Now when you type in the thing, at the moment it's it's got me down on the uh, 1 to 50k maps because on the right here you can choose OS leisure maps, standard aerial maps. So here we, go. we can go into satellite aerial like you, like any other mapping client. And There's a nice line of winter and summer there apparently on Ben Nevis. But yeah, you can go into your aerial. Uh, you've got national park maps. Anyway, I'll stick to the uh, stick to the OS for now. So this is your 1 to 50k your map, your explorer, sorry, which would be your, your explorer one. And really detailed, you get your summit. You have your, there you go, your, which is your standard OS map again, but you've got it on the computer. Uh, you can zoom out to another level, so, sorry, that was the 1 to 50, but you can go into the 125k, here we go. A lot more detailed, better. Same as you'd get on the map. Really handy having the OS maps on here because you can select an area that you want to do and you can print it off and you can print off overlaps, you can print off the same thing ten times. Now I don't like drawing on my OS maps because I find if you if you draw a new OS map and you do a lot of routes in the same area, you draw one route on then you draw another, you end up with lots of lines all over it and navigating when you really need it can get a bit sort of confusing if you're looking for a line and you see a different one or a different... So I just like... My maps tend to be clean Unless I was to write something on it at the time I'm out and about, I tend to keep my maps free of drawings and things. And I tend to print off, talking to print off, I get the print, print off the uh, copies off. But I found this really handy having this because when I went up there, I sort of, you can you know, print yourself off a map and laminate it, which is quite good. That keeps it sort of semi shower proof, keeps it protected from getting screwed up in a rucksack or something. But I keep, keep things in a map case anyway, generally, so not so bad. But yeah, you can have uh, endless copies of that. And, as well as having like a laminated copy of the area I plan on going, I can print off this as one of the cooling on Sky, uh, print off various different scales there and you can draw all over them. And when we were up there, there was a guy staying in the youth hostel we were in and he was desperate to go up into the hills. He had no maps, he had his iPhone, uh, no other maps and he was desperate to go up and we'd all advised him not to and the lady in the hostel had and he was adamant he'd go with his phone. So. I gave him a couple of copies of our printed maps that I happened to have spare and said, look, please take these, drew the roots onto him. And, uh, yeah, well, I don't know how he got on, but we were all a bit worried about him. <laughs> it's one of those things you can't physically stop someone from going and do something they want to do. Um, but, hey-ho, what can you do? People want to do these things, they want to do these things. Um, yeah, but it's really handy to have the ability to print out and draw on them. You can, in OS Maps, 
somewhere on here, we go roots. You can actually create roots of I, my roots. Oh, I've got some saved, yeah. Downton to Salisbury on the Avon Valley path. Yeah, so you can you could draw on and save uh, various routes, walking routes and things. And why is that? Can't see the route on there, or do you have to click it? Okay. Why is that looking for me now? View route. There we go. Sorry, being silly there. Right, there we go, so you can view your route. So we're going from Downton up to Salisbury there, and it draws it on here. Now, I, you trace it as you go, you can trace it, or you can mark on waypoints as you walk along, and it will draw the line between the waypoints. But here we go, so just follows the Avon Valley path, this one, but you've got this here. And you can do it on a step-by-step -step directions. You could produce a route card here, the start and finish, the distance, the times. You can get an elevation plot, which is quite good there, not a very high route. <laughs> Uh, but you can also export that to a handheld GPS. There you go, it gives me a 14 kilometres, three hours roughly. But it's uh, quite handy to have because you can export that to your handheld GPS then and you've got what you've been playing with on the on the computer. I like that. Although my, my Garmin does have its own base camp software and things, it's quite nice to do this because you can print these off with the route drawn on and things too, which is nice. But I recommend it to anyone who goes out a lot and it saves you a fortune as well. If you're going away somewhere ad hoc and you want to do perhaps one small walk for a weekend. Uh, you, you just you just print yourself off one of these rather than having to go out and buy an OS map for it, which is nice. But I've got a huge stack of OS maps, and they get bigger by the bigger by the day, and you've got to store them somewhere, and they're not cheap if you need a few. So it's handy if you're going somewhere you don't you don't want to buy a map for either. Uh, I do believe that when you're subscribed to it, you could get it on uh, the iPhone, the iPad, and things like that. And I think you can do real time mapping on them but you can certainly have the routes saved and bring up the maps anywhere in the country I am a Windows Phone user so I can't um, yeah, Microsoft. <laughs> so I can't get any of this on here but I'm okay because so I've got a GPS I don't need the uh, don't need the software on my phone uh, if anyone has come across this and not sure of things I, I do recommend it I think it's well worth getting really handy bit of kit certainly uh, Certainly use it when I go out and about, so I didn't subscribe to it. I let my subscription lapse because I wasn't going out. But the other thing I've got is uh, so I've got my Garmin. There you go. I've got a Garmin GPS map 64. So if we can go up past, there we go, past Ringwood to Downton and Salisbury, the same as on the map. Fording Ridge. Oh, Downton, there it is for the cursor. And up to Salisbury. So I find this really handy because my one's got OS maps on it, as you hopefully can see on the screen. But uh, I can transfer the maps off of this onto this. The, and it doesn't have to be that this is an OS map. You can upload the, the GPS file, even if it's not an OS map, that's just convenient. This is OS2. And you can uh, cross-refer that, which is nice. Now, I don't like navigating with the GPS, but it certainly got me out of trouble. It's got me out of trouble when you appear to a fork in the path and you sort of look at your OS map and think, where do I go? You can start taking a path and then you can cross refer your position on the GPS say oh it wasn't wasn't the path I expected or it is the path. I've done that a few times up in Scotland when you see a route that's not marked on the map and one that is and you don't know which to follow so you don't want to get too far along it before obviously you look on the compass and go well I'm miles out so it's handy just to have the GPS to pinpoint yourself and go yeah I'm on the wrong one. <laughs> I'll turn back and go back or cut across depending on what it is. So. Yeah, that's, that's it basically. I thought I would just go through that with you briefly in case you've seen it. And again, it's, it's absolutely great if you happen to have a uh, have a device you could download them onto or it's really handy if you just want to have a look at some maps. Tesco's club card vouchers make it nice and easy. And uh, I don't really know what else to say. So thanks for watching if you have been. Let me know if you've used it and what you find the positives and negatives are. And any reason you'd use something different instead or something you used to supplement it, other maps that you might like. Yeah, I'd be interested to know because I'm still seeing what's out there and things and sadly round here in the south of England there's too many too many visual clues to where you are. It's not like being up in the mountains or in the out in the middle of nowhere, down on Dartmoor or something where you really, really have to be spot on your mapping. Down here you can get lazy with mapping because there's usually plenty of visual features and signposts and things that are 
so they help you out. The National Trust own a lot of the coastline in Dorset, and again, they're very good at their signing. Concrete, you sort of get stones, you get nice stones engraved with the roots and things. And yeah, plus, it's not too busy, it's not, not too hard on the coastline to work out where you are, so you're all right there. But yeah, all right, thanks. See you later. Right, another feature of OS Maps, which I forgot to mention, was uh, OS Online, was the 3D view they do now, which is really handy and just quite a cool thing to play with if you fancy a look around the country or anything. So, we we'll start down here at Fort William again, go into Glen Nevis here, and down the bottom here, you can manipulate on the side here, you can manipulate the way it looks. So, it's the summit of Ben Nevis up there. Come down, but if we look into Glen Nevis here, got where the Glen Nevis campsite's here, and then you've just got the pony track up Ben Nevis up here so you can fly around if you need to and then across to the loch here uh, you can see the zigzag goes up the uh, up to the summit that way but here we go if you were going climbing and you decided to see a different route you can whiz around you can change the altitude of the view and you can see change the direction so this is the path that comes from the loch round to the uh, the north face you come in here let's try zooming in let's see how far you can well, you can zoom in a fair bit but down here we've got the CIC hut, uh, down here, and then Tower Ridge here, the northeast buttress here, and uh, the CMD arete on the end there. But what you can do, again, if you want to, is you can lift up and have a look around, get a decent 3D profile of what you're looking at. So, yeah, you can see, uh, see the arete, see the different ways of doing things. Yeah, it's a good, good feature to have 3D, especially if you are going to go up mountaineering or anything. Um, shame it's snow capped here it's a bit bright but yeah it's a very very good feature and I like it I, uh, I think it's very very handy so really interesting too just to be able to have a look around all the different places somewhere you're not familiar with you can get the layout and see the lay of the land or if you're bored just play about <laughs> it's uh, yeah a really good mapping yeah, really good for mapping as well though okay you can spin it with the compass as well as change your altitude so Back to Fort William this way. Uh, the Ben Nevis Distillery down here. Um, but yeah, you can have a look in onto Fort William. So it's a 2D view of the uh, aerial, but then you get the 3D layer, lie of the land as well. So Fort William train station. Yeah, I think it's really handy software to have, or really handy online service to have. Um, I got a, an email from OS this week, it's a Glen Nevis campsite. Got an email from OS this week saying there's a new uh, augmented reality mapping on their thing. So if you have the app on the, uh, I'm assuming it's the iPhone or Android because I've got a Windows phone and I can't um, get it. But if you've got the OS Maps app, you can um, you can view augmented reality. So it uses your your GPS position to work out where you are, and then uh, you can lift it up. It'll show you show the the real world obviously through the camera, but it'll be able to give you positions of I think the email says places to eat, things to see, things to do. Uh, yeah, and I think it's in its infancy, but it's got so much potential to do that. Yeah, so you can see some very good features of uh, the 3D view. You can literally follow the path around. It looks completely different to uh, before when it was higher up. So down in the valley with the path, yes. Yeah, so manipulate the view. Oh, I, I really like this for mapping. Say, so I don't, I don't have a phone that can use the app, so I don't actually um, use this for navigation. But I find it really handy for printing out routes beforehand. And you've seen the various types of map that I have that I like, so I stick to stick to what I know. I think I'll always be a bit old-fashioned with my maps, but it's really, really good to have. And I'm sure if I ever get a phone that can, um, yeah, thanks. I'm sure, if I ever get a phone that can handle it, I'll really, really. Away. Really enjoy to um, use it. Really enjoy using this if I can. Anyway, that's just a brief overview of my maps and, and this mapping again. And uh, like I say I highly recommend it, especially if you're a club card member. But yeah, sorry it's a bit of a, a boring indoor video, but I haven't had time to get out and be preparing for baby arriving and things. I have planned a wild camp this week, uh, but that's off now. So in two weeks' time, maybe I'll do it. The idea is going to be. I might wild camp when, on a Thursday night, when I'm on late shifts at work, I might wild camp outside the gate at work and um, 
and then I can do either overtime on Friday or I can swap to an early shift on Friday because yeah it's a bit of a pain not getting home till well after midnight and then having to get up and go to work in the morning drive all that way spend all that time in the car when I'm tired and uh, I could just sort of yeah wild camp outside the gate but then winter's coming so we'll see how that goes might be too cold and horrible <laughs> there's only a couple of ways to find out and one of those is to have a go especially because I bought myself a couple of bits I have to buy myself a winter bag I think but I've got a couple of bits which will help this year get to review so thanks for watching let me know if you use this or any other mapping mapping you use I know there's lots of different free services out there and again my handheld GPS has OS maps on it but there are many more sort of uh, free maps you can download and use and different topographical ones and things so let me know what you use and anything else that works thanks for watching